let's say you want to go to a different location on your computer without having to jump to your desktop. You don't want to have to go over here and then click on a folder or my computer and all that. Well, guess what? The same shortcuts you used to do on Windows 7, you can do here. Uh, if I, let's say, for example, I want to go to the YouTube videos, which is located on my G drive over here, okay, so that one right there. So if I right click on this, okay, and I see here and I say, pin to start. It used to mean Windows 7, it would put it on the start menu. Of course, it doesn't exist. So we're going to say pin to start here. Okay. The uh, public videos is actually on my other computer. Okay, so I'm going to right click on that one even and say pin to start. Now if I go back over here and I scroll over to the side, you'll see that now I have those links to those locations right here. Okay, so I can sit there and go, oh, bam, and it comes over here and opens that video or that location over there. So not only can you do apps, but you can do file locations as well on your start menu. So you can have a whole series over here, whatever you want. So let's go ahead and minimize this. I'm going to right click on this area and I'm going to call it uh, folders. <laughs> if I can type folders. Okay, so now I have this section called folders. And that allows me to have as many links to different places on my hard drive that I want to do. Uh, want to get to really quickly. So. Now you don't have to have its own group. If let's say this folder was associated with a pro set of programs that you wanted to use, for example, if this was Office, for example, and this was I could make a directory link to those files for Office, my Excel or Word files, or my documents for a certain year, whatever I want to have as a shortcut, I can have it right there. So if I'm here on my start menu, I can do that. So those of you who like shortcuts, rather than cluttering up your desktop over here with a bunch of shortcuts and everything else, you can clutter up your start menu. But the whole point being is that uh, you can configure this any way you want to make the things work best for you.